The week is almost coming to an end, but of course, it can't be complete without Bistec, where we bring you a recap of business news that made headlines during the week, as well as a compelling interview. Hello, and welcome to Bistec on Ghana Web TV with me, Na Oyokuote. Now, a 24-year-old Ghanaian university graduate is making his world beautiful through painting. Philip Emisa, the CEO of Colorful Visions Artisans, has a dream of making generational wealth. And of course, he's championing that cause with one Ghanaian youth at a time. He has employed over 30 Ghanaians and has 15 trainees under his care for free. My colleague, Ernestina Sewa Asante, has the details. Life, they say, is full of surprises. We've got the good, the bad, and the ugly. Today on Best Tech, we'll be speaking to a 24-year-old CEO of Colorful Vision Artisan. He's a university graduate and was looking forward to having a position in the corporate body. But today, he is a professional painter. Let me not spill all the beans. Let's get straight into the conversation. We'll be right back. Welcome to Best Tech, Philip Emisa. Thank you. Okay. I know you're a university graduate. I'm sure you were expecting that you'll be in an office, but here you are, a painter. Definitely. Tell us more about it. Well, when I was done with my national service, um, I, wasn't, I sent out some applications for the course I did. I did health and safety in the school. Okay. So I sent out um, my application to the manufacturing companies and then the industrial ones. Uh, none of them actually picked me. So I was, I was frustrated, honestly. And then I wanted to paint my room. So I went to buy a brush and then the paint. And then I decided to paint. As I was just painting, the so it just cut my head. It just cut them. So after that, I realized that what I did was really nice. So I decided to try it out for a few friends, pro bono. So I did it for those guys. And then, you know, I met um, my boss. He asked me if I'm a painter, actually. I said yes. But honestly, I didn't know much. But you were not a painter at the time. I was not even a painter at the time. I didn't know much. But I was ready to go for it because I can apply the paint. So I decided to join him. And then after, I, when I got to the site, I, I got to learn a whole lot of things. I got to learn a whole lot of things. Um, that's how come I advanced into industrial painting. You made use of the internet as well? I made use, I always make use of the internet. Always. There is not a single day I don't watch something on painting. Okay. So this is your full-time job or your side hustle? This is my full-time job. How many people have you been able to employ or train so far? If you're speaking in terms of employment, not less than 30 people. On payroll? On payroll. Oh. If you're talking about people that are working as trainees, they are about 15. So this is not the only site that I'm working on. The others are different sites working too. Yeah. He said you've employed about 30 people yeah. and the trainees are 15. Yes. How old are you? I'm just 24 years, going to 25. 24? Yes, 24 years. Wow. I look big and stout, but this is the only 24 year old CEO of <laughs> what's the company again? Colorful Vision I see. So, aside painting, what else do you do? I do interior deco, mm -hmm. do the ceiling, do epoxy, flooring, do terrazzo, do tiling mm -hmm. as well. Okay. So, Can you delve more into each of them? So, um, the POP ceiling is um, the design ceilings that um, a whole lot of us know about. This is a new kind of ce ceiling. It's been there long ago. But then there is a new one which is plasterboard as well. Mm. It's been added to it. You can fix your lights in it. This LED light giving you a whole different colors. And this, that's the plasterboard ceiling. Mm. It comes in conjunction with the POP ceiling. Uh, so the same way that the POP ceiling is done, the process is a little bit different from the plasterboard. 
we have the uh, the tiling. We all know how the tiling is. Um, it's about uh, fixing your tiles on the ground with the mortar and the tile adhesive. And then the terrazzo, so having your terrazzo stones mixing with mortar. And apply. We have the washable one. And washable one. tiles? The terrazzo. Ah, okay. As well. Yeah. The, we have the washable one and then we have the polished one. Mm. What's yeah. the difference? So we have a terrazzo that you wouldn't have to polish. Mm. It will just you just have to sweep over it. When you cast it on the ground, you just have to wash over it. That's all. Okay. Good to go. But then the polished terrazzo is the one that they use a grinding machine to grind it. It looks very polished. Mm. You can actually see your reflection on the terrazzo floor. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And, and then we have epoxy flooring. Yeah. The epoxy flooring has to do with um, fixing, um, making, it's a type of flooring that it's uh, a waterproofing floor mm. as well as uh, a design floor for industrial areas. Mostly we do industrial places. Mm. Uh, now, um, epoxy, you can fix even your picture mm. on the ground. Wow. You do the epoxy on it. Oh. The picture will be on the ground. Every design you want can be done on the ground for you with the epoxy. Now let's go back. How did you get your first job? Well, my first job it was it was um, <laughs> it's a lot of memories, you know. <laughs> Tell us about it. It's a lot of memories. Mm. But I think um I'll tell you the short part of it. Okay. Tell the short part. Yes. So I went for a friend's funeral. Mm. And then at the friend's funeral, I saw this uncom a, a building which is not completed. And then I was like, well, I think I can, I can paint this. Why don't I go ask around for it? So I just asked around who owns this building. And some, my friend directed me that it's for this person. So when I went, it was actually a family member. Your family member? Wow. <laughs> That's how I got the job. Hmm. Yeah, so I got my first job at around 15,000. 15,000 cities or dollars? No, cities. Okay. 15,000 cities. Oh, that's my first job. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So how did you feel after seeing the finished work no, for your I, first I, job? I, 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 I was relieved. It, I grew the, the love for painting because um, the idea of painting is almost about life. Mm. It, it, it shows me the kind of steps, the things you would have to go through mm. to become the person you want to, you want to be. So you look at this building, we are applying filler, we are applying primer, we are sandpapering, we are dusting it. All these processes take time. And then after we put the finished work on it, it comes out so nice. So as, apart from your first job, I'm sure you did others before this very big contract. We want more details in that too. I've done a lot of big jobs. Mm. You know, um, so when you go to Mokola mm. Commercial Bank, the one opposite the SNP yeah. parking lot, I painted that building. Oh. Um, the GCB Bank. Yeah. I painted yeah. that. I painted Academic City University. Mm. Academic City College, rather. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, I'm here. How did you get all these contracts? So, um, all these contracts are given to me by my boss. Who's your boss? You've been mentioning your name boss. Is, um, Okay, and how did he become your boss? So, because you're a brand, you're a company on your own, you learned everything on your own, and now you are saying your boss. So my boss polished me. Okay. Now painting is not just about putting paint on the wall. He taught me leadership skills, how to lead people, how to spot problems. He helped me open my eye to be paying attention to details. And all these jobs, he gets it. And then he passes it on to me, so I go with the boys. Okay. So, he's mine, superior. Okay. When it comes to the job. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then he encourages that I bring young guys on, young guys who are, who didn't get the privilege to go to school, who didn't get the chance to be helped by others. 
he encouraged me to bring all these boys on. So he helps me train these people. He gives them the platform. This is the platform, a big working space for all these people to learn. So their learning time is fast. People learn painting for three years. I teach it in one month. Oh. So she tell you how intensive the training here is. Mm. So how much do they pay for the training? They don't pay anything. So how do I apply? Well, I'm actually looking forward to having ladies on site. Oh, um, I see. Yeah. <laughs> As I said earlier, it, 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 it's my dream hmm. to have ladies painting. Because um, in Ghana here, it's, uh, painting has been branded as a, a male-oriented job. Hmm. But I'm telling you, clients will be fascinated to see fe females painting. I see. <laughs> okay, so the conversation is getting interesting, but we are taking a quick break. When we come back, we continue the conversation. Welcome back from the break and now we are going to, he's going to tell us what goes into the choosing of colors for painting. So yes, he tell us what goes into, are there any techniques or you just choose your color, you think it is good for you. So we get to understand something, painting is nature. Everything. Get to understand this, painting is about nature. Okay. Everything that you see around, trees, the sky, everything is color. What you want is color. Everything is color. It's, it's um, mean. That's the aura that it brings to you. Okay. So, if a client wants a color, I'll advise him. If it's a living room, I'll tell you this color is good for you. If it's a banking hall, I'll tell you this color will be good for you. If it's a, a, a high traffic area, I'll tell you. If it's your hall or the exterior part of your building, I'll tell you what will be good for you. Mm. So it depends on the environment you are in and the kind of um, aura you want you want to have around you. Some people want um, loud colors, some want light colors, some want colors which are calm. We have colors which, are, which will actually calm you down. How? Yes. <laughs> now, it's, it's welcoming. A color like... Um, sea blue mm. in your hallway or in your bedroom, a color like white. These colors are colors which calm you down. Mm. Well, it looks like white is overly used, so we are used to it. If you white, see white, white, you are not really it's, it's getting the vibe. People don't use it in the right place, they need to use it. Okay. We have colors which are very welcoming. Mm. You are stressed, you get to a place there. Lemon green, an apple green or a lemon green, it calms you down. The environment alone. Like naturally. Naturally. Your, your client do that. My favorite color is wine and I paint my living room wine. But you think it's not the best color for me. How do you go about such so, situations? I have one simple rule. The client is always right. No, but you can also give advice. Now, I give my advices to the client. Okay. Now, your, I don't go against your wish as a client, but then what I do is that I'll try to give you a better option. Try to give you a better option that this color will rather best fit for this job. Mm. But if you insist on you want it, I will let you have it. But I will let you sign an NDA mm. that this, if it messes up, you don't blame me for it. Mm. Yes. So if people watching this video wants to apply how do they get on board they want to learn maybe pop the painting so, fixing um, the person will just have to call me mm. if the person is uh, having some guardians i'll have to come and see them mm. then we will have to put everything on paper okay. we put everything on paper that they are giving their child to me for training okay. so the training is going to last uh, about a year or six months, provided the person is fast enough. Sign it, the parents sign it, and I go with the kid. Okay. Now from then, everything that has to do with the kid is my responsibility. You get to understand, I'm a safety officer. Okay. I, I did safety in school. So, I did safety in school. 
Now, my worker's safety is my first priority as a safety officer. Now, as a painter, you need to have your nose mask or a respirator, uh, hand gloves, footwear, and then um, goggles. Okay. Then your overall. Now, some of the paints, the, the kind of um, chemicals in it is harmful. So, if you, if you haven't experienced it, if you paint an enclosed area, that place will be very hot, very hot. It's because of the, the chemicals that the paint is giving up. That is why any time somebody paints a room first day, and the person sleeps in that room, the person gets a cold because of the chemicals in it. So I make sure that I give them their goggles, nose mask, your hand gloves, yeah. and your photo plus your overall, okay. so that you are protected. Hmm. Don't you think it's about time we move away from using the brushes to paint the roller? Maybe there can be a technology that can spray the... Maybe if you are using the brush in two days to complete this project, maybe with a spray, sprayer you can use maybe four hours or five hours to complete a building do you agree yeah i agree on that okay so there is actually a, a spray machine oh. that uh, we use to paint instead of the roller it's actually faster than the roller mm. but it's a new phase of painting that we are introducing into the system okay uh, we've introduced it here but i know it's not very common around and the machine is a bit costly so not a lot of paint can buy it. How much does it cost? So it costs from uh, 7000 For one? For one. Oh. Yes. See, and when you used it, how was it, feel like, how was it feeling like? It's fast and it, it will give you a better finish than the roller well. I'm sure you, you're making some interior decor in there, so maybe you can have a look at it's what's... Not, it's not a problem. Okay, sure, then let's get going. Spraying machine, yeah. seven thousand machine. Okay, so how do you fix it for so, work? Um, you plug into your socket. Socket, okay. Yeah. And then this goes into the paint. Mm. Actually, okay. So you raise it like this, and then you put the paint. You put this into the paint. Mm. Now, this is your nozzle. Okay. So as you start, there's the pressure. You open it up. Start, the paint will start passing through this. Good. You can spray it from this angle. Okay. Either this way or that way. Okay. But people are saying we should spray from up to bottom or it doesn't necessarily have to be up to bottom. Okay. You can either go horizontally or vertically. Mm. It's a choice. Okay. I see. So this is the wall. This is the finished actually. This is how uh, smooth the wall is. There's no line, no crack. So on this wall, we make sure that even the back of the socket, mm. we feel it, the eaves, the, the, the side between the seam and the wall itself, we fill it with filler mm. to make sure that there is no space left unattended to. Okay. So the room looks almost close to perfect. Mm after the painting is done. Okay. How much do you normally charge? And then does the cost um, cover the paint you go and buy on the market? So if the client wants me to buy the paint, I will. Okay. If the client wants me to direct him where to buy it, I will. Okay. I have my brands that I use. Mm. So they are trusted brands that I use. So I will recommend it for you and then I'll give you the technical data sheet as well. Read through it, know exactly what it does, the technical properties of the paint. Okay. Then you will buy it. Mm. If you want to buy it, it's your fine. You can okay. go to the factory and produce it for you. Okay. If you want me to buy it, I'll still buy it. So if I already have the paint and I ask you to come and do the painting, how much does that cost? So everything that here is in square meters. Okay. The tiling, the POP, the painting is in square meters. It means there are measurements in everything. Measurement. So I can measure oh. this whole place. Now tell me that 10 buckets 
will be able to do this job. And then it will be done in three days by four boys. Mm -hmm. The measurements I do will tell me the number of days that the boys will work, mm -hmm. the amount of money I'm supposed to charge you, okay. and then the paint, the number of materials that you have to buy. Okay. Accurately. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So this room is what centimeters over what? So this is about almost about 50 square meters. Okay. I see. Oh, so maths runs through everything in yes, your job. Yes. Maths runs through everything. So if you are not too good in yes. maths, can you still do this job? You can still do it because okay. I'll teach you how to do it. Okay. It's not any serious math that you have to be so scared about. Hmm. You just have to know how to measure your height, your length, you multiply it. Okay. So just this by this, you get the square area for this. Hmm. If you want the floor, you measure here to this place, here to this place, you have your square area. Hmm. So every square meter and how much you charge per square meter. Okay. So if I say that I charge five cities per square meter, and I know that this place is 10 square meters, then I know that five times 10 hmm. is 50, right? Yes. So then that's the money I'm, I'm going to charge you. So um, we, we, we are coming to an age where clients feel, they feel that painters let them overestimate or they underestimate. Mm. So now if you, you can tell them that this is the amount of paint you are buying. Mm. This is your measurement. The measurement says this, I'm charging you this because we charge this per square meter. This is the amount of paint and then filler and then all the materials you will need. So please provide it for me. If it's provided, the client wouldn't have to get the headache of you coming to tell the person that, oh, the, the paint got finished. Mm. I need money to go buy it again. Yeah. You buy it twice. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. The measurement mm. will tell you how serious your workers are. Okay. So if I know that my worker should be able to do 100 square meters a day, mm. and then I come and 50 square meters is done, mm. I'll know that the worker didn't work well. Mm. Because the measurement will tell me the number of days that yes. I'm supposed to let the guys work through. Yeah. Huh. So it's very vital. Yeah. Okay. So your advice to young ones who are home and are still waiting on um, corporate bodies to call them? We got guys like my type on, on, on the ground. Mm. You just have to come, come and learn something. You, you have to come, come and learn something because we are giving it to you for free. Okay. I was given painting for free. So I'm giving it out for free. We can't all be in the office. Not Everybody can be in the office. It doesn't mean your life has to end that way. You can come, do something with your ten hands. You got this. That's all you need to make it. Mm. So with a little education and then polishing of your skills, you can do better than somebody who's even sitting in the office. Mm. Oh. So it's not late for anybody. Whether you're illiterate or illiterate, wherever you are, just come. There's a chance for you to learn. Okay. Yeah. All right. Like he said, we all can't be in the office. Don't give up yet because the corporate body is not calling you to take up that position you applied for. So be ready to work with your hands, as he said. Be your own boss. And then life goes on. And Estina Sawa Asante, reporting for Bistec on Ghana Web TV. Thank you, Anastina Sewa Asante, for the amazing interview. But our friend, Jefferson Seniaja, is on standby for Tech Bits. Welcome to Tech Bits this week. This week is for all web developers and all web designers. And I'm sure you find it interesting. I actually love this, this website. Ever since I found out about it, I've been actually using it personally myself. And uh, it's an online chatting um, software it's called Jivo Chat. Now, Jivo Chat is something that uh, uh, almost be like revolutionary in terms of what they're serving. It's a great CRM manager and web developers and all websites creation enthusiasts who find GeoChat very useful and very helpful. 
it's something that I would encourage even those that are not into web design to actually, if you actually get a contract or if you hire someone to create a website for you, it's something that you might want to say, hey, use Jibo Chat for my website because uh, it benefits are really, really great. So let's get to it and uh, let's see how best we can get uh, uh, the best of Jibo Chat this week. So the website is called Jibo Chat. That's J I V O. C H A T Jivo Chat, and it pretty much sells itself. Jivo Chat's main thing is connecting business uh, business owners to their clients, and it's great for web developers who are looking for a simple chat software. And it integrates with any website, whether it's a pure PHP website or even a WordPress uh, a content management software like WordPress. Jivo Chat. One of the best things I like about their website is that their product is already being used on their website. So you can easily say hello there. And when someone gets to your website, after reading all what your product offers, they can easily just decide to just have a chat with you. And the best thing I like about their chat software is that it's not only available on desktop, meaning that the support agent where the agent is also typing the message does not have to be only on the web but it has a mobile app so there's a jivo chat mobile app software which actually is available and you'll be able to log in into your jivo chat and connect to your website meaning someone can be anywhere and you can also be anywhere from the comfort of your home and or anywhere else and be replying to customer support instantly that's one as you can see i just sent a hello and one of their customer support service has replied it has an auto reply feature which is part of the uh, support management software and this is all great too so not only is it for normal website but even for content management softwares like wordpress uh, it has so many great features like live chat for website as i mentioned a callback option right there and there email telephony it's you can even connect it to whatsapp you can connect it to facebook messenger chatbots like that one like i mentioned and even telegram and this is how their support dashboard looks like an agent can have multiple agents uh, and you can just be replying to different different messages and it's a great tool we actually have i also already have that on aftown.com that we use for integrating and even through our app so it's a great tool that i recommend to everyone to have a look at and business owners to use uh, great for uh, 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 CRM integration, great for telephone and email chat transcripts. So let's look at it. Uh, the default version is actually very free. You can sign up, it's free, but as you need more agents and more features, that is where you get to the paid uh, 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 subscriptions. But it's something that you should look at and um, uh, might be useful for generating more revenues and turning over site visitors to clients. I hope you found this week very useful and very promising. Even if you're not going to use it, I encourage you to recommend this video to a friend or two. And uh, I'll see you again next week. Bye for now. Up next is Biz Headlines. Information Minister Kojo Opon Nkrumah has disclosed that government has secured 100 million US dollars from the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund to construct a number of districts, regional and specialized hospitals under the Agenda 111 project. Addressing journalists on Sunday, August 15, 2021, Opon Nkrumah said the ambitious Agenda 111 project is aimed at scaling up health infrastructure in the country. 100 million United States dollars has been made available for commencement funding. And then because this project will naturally most likely go across three budget cycles, 2021 to 2022, 2022 to 2023, and then, you know, they have this period of defects when you are done with the project, by which time they'll pay you your final, uh, that will lead probably into the third budget cycle. So allocations have been made or have been made across the various budget cycles in the medium term expenditure uh, framework for what the government of Ghana is bearing. The rest, as I mentioned, is EPC, engineering, procurement and construction. 
And so the um, contractor will come with funding for it. And we'll do the numbers of those ones as we go along those ones. You notice that, as I mentioned, we're starting off with the um, district project first. And the EPCs are the regional projects. So we'll get into that one as we um, go along. The contract sums are just under $17 million for um, the projects. Those are the estimates. For those of you who are familiar with uh, engineering and construction, you know that we always like to talk about the contract sums or the cost as at the time of um, contracting. Um, as you go along, if there is a need for some sort of variation or anything, we'll all be apprised um, of it. Uh, if I may be permitted to tell you a little story. I was a journalist actively practicing when the Jubilee House was being built. And there was this confusion between the figure that was given at contract time and when the question was answered in Parliament. And I recall Mr. Kujun Pianim, who was the Minister for Presidential Affairs at the time, answering and even making a joke that for anybody who has put a building together before, you know that sometimes there may be variations. Now to the Bank of Ghana. Ghana Central Bank and the Monetary Authority of Singapore are in the process of creating a financial trust corridor Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, has revealed. The platform will serve as a dedicated ecosystem for the mutual recognition of small, medium enterprises, businesses, and financial institutions seeking to improve closer relations in the digital economy. Making the disclosure at a business sans border stakeholder engagement on Wednesday, August 18, 2021. Governor of the BOG, Dr. Ernest Addison, explained that the FTC will comprise of a governance framework and digital infrastructure for banks and fintech firms in Ghana and Singapore. Now on to international affairs. The director of governance and administration at the Institute of Economic Affairs, Dr. Samuel Dakwa, has championed the call for more transparency to exist in the engagements between China and African countries. According to him, there have been situations where there have been conflicts between African countries and China due to such a thing and has therefore called for openness in the details of infrastructural contracts. Go as individual countries, our strength is not that. And also, you see, at times, Chinese also are looking at the kind of risk they are taking. Because most of the countries that go for Chinese loans are countries that when they go to the international market and also Western uh, uh, partners, they will not be able to get those loans. So if they give you those loans, it means that the interest rate is going to be high. So, but if we come together as a body, we are able to command strength and we are able to speak and, and, and demand uh, what we need. So, and also many countries, like if you look at this case, the, these two case studies, Zambia and, and, and uh, Kenya, they present different situations. So you could see that Kenya has something that Zambia doesn't have. So if even these two come together, they can do something better. So that is what we need. All the continent, we need to come together and negotiate with China. A strategic investor at the Ghana Bauxite Company Limited has announced its decision to pull from its operation at Awaso in the Bibiani district of the Western North region. This comes after the investor, Bosai Mineral Group from, from China, I beg your pardon, has formally written to government over its decision to sell 80% of its stake in the company and exit. According to the report, the Chinese firm made its decision to exit Ghana as a result of the non-renewal of its mining lease with a GPCL, which is expected to expire in January 2022. The move, which is likely to impact the employment of Close to 700 workers of the GBCL has brought on some anxiety and fears of job security, with the future of the company hanging in the balance. Now on fuel prices, the Institute for Energy Security has projected that the price of fuel is likely to take a dip in the second half of August 2021. The statement signed by research analyst at IES, Fred Smosis, noted that 
Following a 15-day rolling basis, the price of fuel on the local market remained stable within the window under assessment. According to him, price of petroleum prod product within the, price, the first pricing window of August 2021 saw the oil marketing companies continue to maintain prices at the pump from the first pricing window of July. Ghana's economy is projected to have expanded by 8.9% in the second quarter of 2021. Though the Ghana Statistical Service is yet to formally release growth rate data for the period, the firm explains that the projection expansion can be attributed to international trade as economics, economists have gradually begun to ease coronavirus-induced restrictions, which will in turn boost demand for commodity exports for Ghana on the international market. This, coupled with a general increase in economic activity in 2021, is expected to help achieve the targeted growth. However, a critical success factor is how well we will handle the rising COVID-19 cases, a strict enforcement of COVID-19 protocols, as well as an effective rollout of COVID vaccination will sustain the economy recovery process, the firm said. The International Monetary Fund has said that the country's energy sector debt will continue to remain above 1 billion US dollars per year if the government does not step up its game in implementing the energy sector recovery plan. According to the Article IV report of the IMF, as at the end of the 2018, the sector's losses had translated into cumulative arrears of 2.75 billion US dollars, of which 851 million US dollars is owed to the private sector. Last year, the report said the country spent 2% of GDP to support the sector, which is beset with challenges such as excess power generation capacity and gas supply, limited transmission capacity, large distribution losses, and low and subsidized electricity tariffs. According to the fund, the government has signed power purchase agreements with 32 independent power producers, resulting in excess supply over demand and high fixed cost. It's a wrap of another edition of Best Tech on Ghana Web TV. Thank you for staying with us. But there is more on www.ghanaweb.com. Also get interactive with us on all our social media platforms. We are at the Ghana Web on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ghana Web TV. Have a great weekend. My name is Na Oyo Kwoti.